Hi children, I am Pawan. I will be teaching you science. Today, I will be teaching 7th standard first lesson. The sub concept from this lesson is junk food and history of food and nutrition. Let us get into the concept. I am expecting you to pause the video and please recollect the points that what we discussed in the previous class. Ok students? Yeah, that is good. And then uh, today a new concept that is junk food. Yes, today's topic is junk food. You sometimes you go market along with your parents and you see some different types of foods and the foods that are very attractive in the shops, the foods that are very much attracted and then we, uh, you tend to buy that and you tend to eat immediately that right. Uh, but uh, you just name the foods that you see very attractive foods in the uh, market outside you see you just name the food items that you see uh, that that which are very attractive that appears very attractive pizza sandwich and some of the packed foods and sweets, chocolates, etc. See children, these foods look very attractive and also you feel the foods are very tasty. Sometimes you feel the foods are very tasty, huh? right? See children, uh, if you eat these foods every day, what will happen? If you eat this type of foods every day, what will happen? You just think about that. Yes, what will happen? Your body uh, will be deprived of other food substances. Your body will be deprived of other food substances. You know, we have been talking about food substances, right? We have talked about various food substances or food components, right? You know the names, already we talked about various, already we talked about different food components, names and test for them and then uh, what is balanced diet and what are the rough ages and other uh, you know we have talked different uh, we have talked about different food substances already. Your body will be deprived of other food substances that means your body will suffer you know from lack of other food substances that means you get only uh, one type of food substance if you eat this type of foods that are available in the market okay so do you think that the eating this type of foods is good or bad what do you think that's good yes it's not good eating outside food you know that's called junk food okay this is nothing but what junk food junk food is the food that which is not required by our body okay junk food in the sense the food which is not not required by our body but what are the foods uh, required by our body? Yes, the foods that we discussed about uh, balanced diet, right? The foods like you know, uh, the food which contains uh, rich of carbohydrates and proteins, uh, fats and uh, what are the other substances that we talked about? Uh, rough ages, water, etcetera, you know, 
these are the food substances that we have talked about in the previous class. Our body requires all type of food components, but if we eat this type of foods our body will not get what these food components in a balanced manner. So, that avoiding junk food is good or bad? What do you think about that? Yes, avoiding junk food is good. Okay? I am expecting you not to eat the junk food, the food which is available outside the market. Okay? I am expecting you not to eat the food which is available in the markets like pizza, sandwich, packed food, sweets, chocolates, etc. Okay? So, I am expecting you to eat the food which contains all the food components like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, roughages, water and minerals and salts. Okay? So, so avoiding junk food is good, right? Some of the junk food pictures will be displayed on the screen. You can see some of the junk food pictures will be displayed on the screen. You can see and understand what are junk foods. Okay? Now, now let us talk about history of food and nutrition. What history of food and nutrition. Yeah. In this history of food and nutrition, we need to know little history of the scientists. That is, we need to know little history of the scientists who worked for food and nutrition, developing of food and nutrition, who studied about food and nutrition. Until 170 years ago, there was little scientific knowledge in western countries about nutrition. So, we are talking about food and nutrition, right? So, there was very little knowledge about, there was little scientific knowledge about food and nutrition. During this period, there was a scientist, his name Levoiser. He lived in between 1743 and 93. He lived in between this period. He was a French man who paved new ways to nutrition research. He contributed his services a lot. He is also known as uh, founder of modern science of nutrition. He did a lot of contributions to nutrition and research. Yeah, in between this time, there was another scientist, is James Lind. In the year 1752, he discovered a disease. He noticed that a disease, scurvy, which could be cured by eating fresh fruits and vegetables. What? Fresh fruits and vegetables. So, he noticed that this type of disease could be cured by eating fresh fruits and vegetables. Then he declared that some of the diseases are cured by eating certain kind of foods. Certain kinds of foods like fresh fruits and vegetables. Okay? And thereafter, in 19th century, it was known that the food obtains three substances namely proteins, fats and carbohydrates and which are responsible for healing certain type of diseases like scurvy. So, we obtain these food components in certain type of foods and then they are responsible for curing certain type of diseases. Okay, children? So, this is the history that we understand history of food and nutrition. Who is the founder of modern science of nutrition? Levoiser. What was this duration? 1743 to 93. Thereafter, another scientist, his name James Lind in 1752, he noticed that uh, certain type of diseases like scurvy 
could be cured by eating fresh fruits and vegetables then he understood that he noticed that some of the foods that contain different food components in them are responsible for curing diseases like scurvy okay the pictures of the scurvy disease uh, will be displayed on the screen you can see and understand and this is for today's students assignment is write the names of food components just write the names of food components and post your homework in our whatsapp group this is for today thank you for listening thank you one and all